Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? I hope you're doing great. Today we're going to be continuing this uh, C++ State RPG. And I just want to say a few things before we get started from the last video. Sorry about not making it a, a full-on tutorial type thing. I just want to tell you that you should go ahead and go read tutorials, check out tutorials for um, polymorphism, inheritance, classes in general, pointers, and things like that. And I'll explain as much as I can as we go along, but it won't be that much in detail. So just know that and, and you should be fine. This, this series is going to be more intended for people who kind of know C++ now and just want to follow along and, and try something new, make a little little console game and try to, you know, just learn something other than uh, and straight tutorials. But let's just go ahead and get started. So I made a, I'm just going to remove that. I made a state.h and a state cpp file. So that's basically a class. Now let me explain what's going on here. So we have our main loop, which we created last time. And a recap from last video, we made a game class, which is our main kind of game. Okay, this is going to be our game. Main is just a place for us to have the while loop. This is the actual place where everything comes together, everything will work together. And uh, in the end, we have print menu here. In the end, I'm hoping to find a way to make that into a state as well, a menu state. Otherwise, we'll just keep everything here because in the scripting it's a lot easier to send data back and forth like that but here it's not as easy it's straight C++ it's a little harder you have to send stuff through parameters and, and global variables and and we'll see how that goes along um, but let's just get started not talk too much the state class is going to be an abstract class so I'm going to do pragma once here so this is going to be an abstract class and it's basically just a class it's just a template template for other state classes and that means that this class is just going to be a template for other classes to inherit from so when a class is abstract that means you can't create it as an object you can't create an object of that class all you can do is you can inherit from it and you can actually then create objects of that inherited class and it, that class inherited class will have gotten everything from this pure virtual class or abstract class um, so let me just get my lingo right pure virtual you can't say pure virtual class actually it's always abstract class pure virtual is only for the function this class contains so let's just get started class state and I'll explain everything so this is just a regular class right now you can still create objects of it and and there's nothing special so um, state like that and then virtual state uh, whoops state like this and the reason I make this virtual is because, because when we inherit from it later the destructor will be also uh, inherited okay so we'll be able to create a, a, a uh, or actually call this it will be called easier and stuff like that. We'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing when it comes to this, but I'm pretty sure uh, I'll get it as we go along. It will come back to me. Uh, but let's just do a functions here. It's great when the teacher is confused. Uh, there we go. Um, and all this state class, it's still not, it's still not abstract, um, but all it needs is a boolean right now, boolean quit because we want to be able to quit out of the state and a function that has uh, that is very important actually I'll save that for for later accessors it needs accessors and modifiers and all this means is I don't think I explained it in the last video but all this is that accessors actually just get stuff and modifiers change the values in the class accessors send them out to the other to the rest of the program uh, so this is going to be a const bool reference get quit and we're just gonna say const here because we want to optimize our functions and if you watch my tutorial on optimizing optimizing functions you'll understand this uh, so let's just create a, a definition for that I pressed control dot and then enter just to get this quick definitions popped out into the CPP file like this and I'm just going to do return this quit like that. So now 
all up all up until now it's just a regular class there's nothing special about it it's just a state I can go in a game and not close down main preferably I can go into game uh, game.h and I can include oh god why wait there we go include uh, uh, state.h like that and I can make a state state variable here and it's not gonna complain so let me just show you it's not complaining it's, it's letting me create a state variable and that's not our point because there's nothing a generic state can do for us it's nothing we want we want to have a base plate and we want to build stuff out of that so to make it into a template all I need to do is I need to create a function it can be any function doesn't really matter and I say equals to zero right there and this function is called a pure virtual function and it has to be virtual as well so this is a pure virtual function you don't need to define this in here in uh, state.cpp uh, what am I doing please there we go okay so you don't need to define this you can if you want to but you don't have to so because this is still just a template this says that this is a pure virtual function and this says basically that this function is absolutely required to be to exist in any class that inherits from state so if we have a menu state class and we inherit from state then we need to create an update function that looks exactly like this without the equals to zero and we need to define it then we can create um, that other class so just remember that this this just means that it's required and this thing makes this whole class abstract so we can have several one of these but at least one needs to be pure virtual for the whole class to become abstract so that made it so we cannot create a state variable it will say object of abstract class type state is not allowed because we're not allowed to create objects of that state we're only allowed to create objects of inherited any class that's inherited from it but what we can do and the reason for me including vector here is that you can create pointers references and vectors and different things uh, that are not directly an object of state of an abstract class so I'm gonna create a vector and I'm gonna it's gonna be a state we're gonna have a bunch of states in here okay and they can be anything menu state combat state inventory state all those things so there are gonna be a bunch of states here and then we need a state pointer called current state and we're just gonna keep it like that so there is no state at the moment uh, and this is gonna be like a stepping stone video for the next one and the next one so don't worry if we don't talk about states for a little while it's just a stepping stone meaning that I just want to get this out of the way and then create some other things in the game like character and some some enemies and stuff like that and then go into creating some states uh, so it'll make more sense basically but yeah there you go so state current state this is in game.h and this is uh, this is the state.h there we go and all this does is return quit and what we can do is we can say this quit equals false and let's go into game.cpp open the constructor and we'll say this current state equals null pointer because it's nothing right now but we'll set it to something later on don't worry um, and then we're just gonna go into game.h and game.cpp and we're gonna kind of what do you call it? optimize these as well const bool reference and then const just to make it a little faster const bool reference const just like that boom and then for um, print menu I'm just gonna set a const there get choice I'm gonna do a const I think yes because it just returns something const int void update can stay the way it is uh, so let's just do const const and then const int so it's a little more optimized uh, and it all works so let me just run this and uh, see what happens shouldn't be any problems there we go so we can do character character stats inventory travel see this is gonna be a bunch of stuff and then we can quit the game boom that worked 
And like I said, we're not going to be working with states right right now, but it's going to come soon. So don't worry. It's going to the whole thing with states is going to start. First, I'm going to create some more classes and, and build around the build around the game. And then we'll see what we can do. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you for sticking with me. Even if I talk too much and I talk too low or too high, I don't know. Please just leave a, leave a comment and just say what you think and maybe uh, ways I can improve it because I know this tutorial is kind of iffy. And uh, like I said, it's, it's more about you training your skills in C++ than actually learning it from scratch. So go watch tutorials, go check out videos, my other videos. I have my example series and my tutorial series. They should both help you. I have my other C++ game, um, uh, game uh, development series. You can check that out. This is more about states and stuff. So you can, you can come back to this when you're done and it should help you. But yeah, for now, thank you for sticking with me. Take care, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.